Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I'm the owner of seasonandserveblog.com. Today we are making one of my favorite summer dishes, my Mediterranean style halibut. Not only is this meal light and healthy, it requires very few ingredients and you only have to cook it in one frying pan, which makes cleanup super easy. So if you wanna see how I make my Mediterranean style halibut, just keep on watching. First, we'll begin by chopping our garlic into fine pieces. And this garlic clove we actually grew in our garden this year, which was pretty amazing. And it is pretty strong, so I'm only using one clove. But feel free to use as much or as little garlic as you want in this recipe. Once the garlic's chopped up, just put it in a bowl and set it aside for now. Next, we'll go ahead and chop up some fresh Italian parsley into fine pieces, as well as some basil. In the basil, I'm doing a chiffonade technique so that I get nice long strands of basil leaves. And once the parsley and basil are all chopped up, I'm just gonna put it aside in a separate bowl and save it for later as our garnish. Next, we'll move on to chopping up our tomatoes. And here, I'm using two field tomatoes from the grocery store. They are not from our garden yet, unfortunately, but our tomatoes should be coming soon. So I'm slicing the tomato up, and then I'm also gonna remove the stem from the middle of the tomato because it is normally pretty tough. So you wanna take that out and discard it. And then chop up your tomatoes into small cubes. And I like to keep the seeds in the tomato just so that it helps create a bit of a sauce for the fish. Once the tomatoes are chopped up, we'll move on to preparing our olives. And here I am using Castle of Toronto olives because they are my favorite. And I'm just taking a couple olives and cutting them in half just to make them a little bit easier to eat. Of course, if you don't have Castle of Toronto olives, you can use Kalamata olives or your favorite type of olive. And finally, we will prepare the fish. And here I'm using halibut in this recipe and I picked it up from my favorite seafood place here in Victoria called Finest at Sea. I ended up getting a fairly large piece of fish, so I'm gonna cut it in half using a sharp knife just so that I can get two portions out of it. And then finally, we're gonna sprinkle each side of the fish with a bit of salt and pepper. Of course, all the full measurements and directions can be found on my blog, and the link to that is in the description box below. And once your fish is seasoned, it's ready to cook. So let's move over to the stove. To cook the fish, preheat a frying pan over high heat. And once it's hot, add in some olive oil. You wanna make sure the pan is super hot so that you get a really good sear on the fish. You wanna add in the fish presentation side down so that you get that nice golden sear on it. And as it's searing, add in the garlic. After about two to three minutes, your fish should have a really nice sear on it, so go ahead and flip it over onto the other side. Next, add in the tomatoes around the fish, followed by the olives. For some extra flavor, I'm gonna add in some dried crushed chili flakes, as well as some oregano, and the oregano and chili flakes really bring those Mediterranean flavors out in this recipe. Then simply cover the pan with a lid and let the fish steam over medium heat for about four to five minutes, depending on the thickness of your fish. You'll know the fish is ready when it turns an opaque white color and when the tomatoes have stewed down and turned nice and saucy. Then simply remove it from the heat and serve. I like to serve this fish family style on a nice big round plate with the tomatoes and olives all around the fish. And just before serving, sprinkle over the chopped parsley and basil from earlier, followed by a nice drizzle of olive oil. And that is my recipe for Mediterranean style halibut. I hope you enjoy this recipe this summer since it's super healthy, light, and easy. Don't forget the full recipe is on my blog and you'll find the link to that in the description box below. Make sure to follow my blog for more delicious recipes and also check me out on Instagram for lots of recipe inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.